Hi everyone, Kara with Kara's Baby Moodle Bets here. Um, I'm going to do a video on some fluff mail that I got that I'm excited about. And also, after that, I'm going to show you some things that I have for sale in my Etsy shop, Facebook shop, Facebook shop, sorry, and uh, blog shop. Um, so yeah, here it goes. First thing I wanted to show you that I was so excited about. Um, eventually I'll do a stash video on everything that I have fluff wise. Um, but I finally got to order from Europecraft. I kept looking online and looking on YouTube and everybody just raves about Europecraft. So I went ahead um, I looked through her patterns, um, or her prints I mean, and there wasn't a whole lot that I liked, but then I was keeping an eye on her Etsy shop and I found a couple pa um, prints that I liked, so I went ahead and had her make some for me. Um, I got four pads, I got different um, lengths, but they're all the same absorbency. Um, so, yeah, they're all ultra absorbency. Um, so the first two I'm going to show you, um, I have two, I think it's 9.25 or something like that, and the other one's 10.5 inch, something along those lines. Here's this one. It's this really cool, like, folkloric, um, skull print. I don't know if you can see that. You can see size wise but next to my head. I absolutely freaking love this. And let me tell you, when I got these in the mail, I don't think I could have ever been in awe by the sewing of a pad. But when I took these out of the package, I was just like, oh my gosh, these are freaking amazing. As weird as that sounds about, you know, talking about a pad, but I was just totally in awe. And the back is so soft. She uses um, Winpro fleece. And it's just so soft. My husband actually grabbed it from me and said, well, before you bleed on this, and he like <laughs> rubs it against his face. I haven't used these yet, um, by the way. So I'll be interested to see. I don't know if she pre-washes her fabric before she makes them. So I hope there's no abnormal shrinkage. Every else, everybody else's videos, when they show them, I don't see any signs of shrinkage. So hopefully it doesn't. But um, she marks her absorbency in these little stars. As you can see along here, there's four stars. And it's color-coded with the fabric. Um, she matched the snaps and everything. It's so cute. But yeah, so I have that one. I think this is a nine... Well, I'll just, I'm not going to say the point whatever inches, this is around the 9 inch, about 9 inches, a little over, and this is a little over 10 inches, so, you can see the difference, absolutely, I don't know if it's focusing well, but absolutely love this print, oh my gosh, now, the next ones that I got are freaking, oh my gosh, I am so crazy about these, because I absolutely love this print. I want to buy this fabric. I want to find this fabric. I'm crazy about this fabric. Ugh. Anyways, so here it is. I'm in love with strawberries and she got strawberries. Holy crap. I'm going to have to order more of these. If I can't find the fabric to make more myself, I'm going to have to order more of these. And I probably would anyway just because her stitching is amazing freaking love the strawberries. Oh my gosh. I saw it on there and I'm like totally digging the strawberries. I gotta have them. Um, I got my first menstrual cup today. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that too. It's funny because at first I wasn't even thinking, I'm like, oh, I don't think I'll ever try a menstrual cup because I'd rather just use my pads. I've I've used tampons in the past, and I just, I just, if I don't have to put anything up there, I just don't. <laughs> but then I was thinking, you know, 
What happens if I'm on my period and I want to go swimming or something or I have a situation where I would need to wear a tampon and I don't want to wear a tampon. I want something that's a little bit nice for my body that's reusable. So I got, um, well, I'm taking it out of the package. I'm going to show you guys in the package what it looks like. I got a lunette cup and the um, Diana. Um, this is the Model 2. I guess this is their best seller. It's like the most common one that they sell from what I understand. I've had kids and my flow can be pretty heavy so this one was a ver the version that um, was recommended for me. So that's what the box looks like. Um, I got mine off Scoon.com, by the way, which it only cost me $36.99 for the cup, when everywhere else it was like $39.99. So I thought that was pretty cool. You take it, this slides off, this is what the inner package looks like. And you just open it up, and the cup is just laying inside. So... I'm going to take this out. You have a little green pouch that comes with it. You have the little um, instructions and stuff like that. Now one thing, here's the cup. And here's the, my hand. When I saw, when I, I've seen so many videos on cups and I'm like, oh they don't look that bad. You know, people say they look intimidating. Well let me tell you, when I pull this out I'm like, yeah, I can see how it can seem kind of intimidating um, with the size. Like, even when holding it, I've never used a menstrual cup before. This is my first. Um, even when folding it, it seems a little intimidating. I think one of the things that kind of scares me the most is that whole popping open motion of how that's going to feel. So, yeah, we'll see. I really love this color. It's a really pretty color. The bag is a really pretty color. Um, one of the things that I was kind of weirded out about is when I got it and I took it out of the box. I don't know if you can see. Oh, let me focus. I don't know if you can see all the little, like, little hair things on it. Um, there's like these little, let me see if I can focus this better, there we go. There's these little, I think it's from the box because the box looks like it's, you know, made out of, um, recycled paper. And I think the inner part of the box is like shedding or something. Because, I mean, it was, it's all over this thing. And I don't know if it's from the string from the pouch, too, but it's just, like, looks like it has, like, little hairs on it. And right now there's, like, a little white one and stuff. And I'm just kind of confused as to why that is. Um, I didn't order it as... A pretty love cup or anything like that. It's a brand new cup, so I don't understand. I don't wash it anyway before I use it. So um, it says lunette right here, and there's two lines here. You have the gripper rings, which actually feel really like grippy, like they're not just there kind of rings that were just there for looks. Like they feel like they would actually work. The things I have for sale. I have a bunch of pads <laughs> that I made. Um, um, I have double bubble. For some reason this fabric was just being stubborn and it would not, I could not get the wrinkles out of it for the life of me. <laughs> so here's the heavy Double bubble and um, medium regular and double 
level in light. All stacked with fleece. Those will probably be marked down soon. With these ones, I mark the absorbencies with a stitch with like vines with leaves. So for the light, there's two little leaf buds. For the medium regular, it's got three. Heavy absorbency has four. And then I have. Oh, there we go. Okay. We have the heavy absorbency in bicycle. Um, medium absorbency in bicycle. Light absorbency in bicycles. I'm really trying to figure out where this is <laughs> focusing, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder at the same time. Um, heavy skulls, curly skulls. Medium skulls. And light skulls and for some reason I don't see that these are marked with absorbency except for the big one which is weird because I thought I went through and marked them all but basically you go by the sizes unless you've requested a pad with a different absorbency with a different size they're pretty general so you'd have the heavy which is the 11 inch that's Popeye and then you have the medium, which is 9 inch. This is the Popeye for that. And then the 7 inch, which is the light. Popeye. And when they're posted on Etsy, you can see better pictures of them. Heavy Asian inspired. It's like an Asian garden. Really pretty. This is the heavy. Here's the. Oops, hold on. Well, here's the medium. <laughs> um, Asian inspired. Make sure I don't have it upside down. And then the light. And uh, light. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting late. <laughs> then I have um, heavy and candy hearts, heavy in vintage travel, heavy in Route 66, these are all back to the place by the way, light in cherries, and light in stripy fashion, uh, the one that reminds me of breakfast activities. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. That's all, all these pads are for sale. I have um, some of them listed on Etsy. If you've seen a pad on here that's not listed on Etsy and you wanna buy it, just message me. And I can get it to you, and I'll send. I'll set up a um, private listing for you. Um, but I will put my link to my Etsy store in the description. So everybody have a fantabulous night. If you have any questions, feel free to message me, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.